important that you understand your condition so that you will be well informed and be able to make better decisions about your recovery. This is a bird's eye view looking down onto the disc. This is the center of the disc. This is the outer layer of the disc. As the disc becomes injured, the outer layers become dry and weakened. Small tears or fissures further weaken the outer bands or layers. This area can become painful and left untreated usually worsens. This allows the jelly-like center of the disc to bulge or herniate towards the sensitive nerve roots or spinal cord. The pressure from the bulging or herniated disc tissue will also interfere with the blood flow, and if left untreated, this can cause cell death and permanent injury. As a result of non-surgical decompression, a great amount of pressure is taken off the disc, allowing the herniated materials to be drawn back into position. This accomplishes two important steps for healing. One, it takes pressure off the small arteries of the spinal cord and nerve roots, restoring normal blood supply. And two, it allows for increased water and nutrients to enter the disc and outer layers. This brings repair tissue into the weakened areas, strengthening them and allowing for true healing.